if you study the lives of all the greats, one thing you'll find in common that they all had was a dream. See, they all had a vision for how they wanted their life to look. And every day they got up and aligned their actions with that dream, with that vision, until what was only a thought, a vision in their mind became their reality. The whole world is just one big blank white canvas. And you are the artist. Your thoughts are the colors. Your action, your grind is the paintbrush. Now get up every single day and paint the life that you want to experience, the life that you want to live. Now you heard me on the last message talking about getting clear on what you want in life. Now for me, I'm filtering every decision I make this year through three things. That is fire, truth, and music. Now what I mean by this, fire. Okay, fire is passion. It's what makes me feel the most alive in life. Now hear me out. People with small dreams are lukewarm people. They're not very excited about life. So I'm going to dream big. Everything I do, I'm pushing the envelope. I'm allowing and inviting God into my situation. Because some of you see, when you got small dreams, you're boxing God out. Faith is an invitation for God to come invade your life. So I'm going to dream big where I've got to put myself in a position of faith. Stop dreaming dreams that are equal to your own ability and start dreaming dreams that are equivalent to the God that you serve. The day you start believing is the day you start living. Faith is the match that will set you on fire. Now when I say fire, I'm talking about I'm on fire in everything. I want relationships that are deeply connected and make me feel alive. I want to do work every single day that I'm excited about. Excited to open my eyes in the morning and hate to close them at night because I'm scared I might miss out on something. I'm very keen to my inner energy. 